Good evening and welcome to this presentation of the Hoops League Eastern Conference Finals on Hoops League TV. Game 4 coming to you here between the Atlanta Activists and the St. Louis Archers. I'm Cyclopsic, Commissioner Owner of the channel, and very excited to show you this game. Atlanta on top, 3 to nothing, but St. Louis changing up the lineup once again now. Davion Oreo starts at the 4 with Pippi Big 50 at the 5. Alongside the typical regular show, Gaines and Bass, as they try to do anything they can think of to stop the Aaron Jackson and the just freight train offense that Atlanta has had up to this point in the series. The activists run it back again with their typical lineup here. Emmy is one, John Rahm, De'Aaron Jackson, Caleb White, and Bart Jeff. And boy, are we excited to show you this game. Atlanta. <laughs> There is Aaron Jackson, and he promises to be the really pivotal game. Uh, pivotal match, excuse me. As we see Davian Oreo start the scoring here, it is going to be a matter of can St. Louis stop De'Aaron Jackson? And even if they can't stop him, can they contain him to enough of a point that their offense is up to the task? Of playing against him, which so far, no matter how much you seem to score, it just doesn't seem to matter. He has the first six points of the game here for Atlanta. Jet misses a short shot there, and the rebound comes out to Oreo. At the other end is Tyler Gaines, who knocks down a three and gives St. Louis its lead back. Very important for Gaines to play like a superstar as he misses that three. Because, obviously, there is one at the other end. A pass over to Gaines, another three, another bucket. Four shots, he's hit two of them, he's got six points early. Demius one, into the paint. The alley-oop, Bart check the finish. So 10-10 here, high scoring affair early on. This Davion Oreo known to fill it up quickly from time to time, able to get that one to go. Jackson mid-range, step back. And there is nothing you can do about that. Tone show likely an all-league defender this year, just given getting work from here in Jackson early. And there's Ron giving Tyler Gaines some work. Cenox down that three. Tone Show will get a three to go. Not a guy who shot a lot of threes during his time with Boston, but since being traded to St. Louis, he has shot a lot more. As Damian Oreo will pull up on a three, no good. Rebound to Pivy and the former Boston Charm able to throw that one down on the offensive boards. De'Aaron Jackson, his first miss of the game there. Still 3 of 4 to start. Davian Oreo with 8 quick points. He's 4 of 5, and St. Louis is up by 4. Jackson, another 3. He's got 11 of their 21 early here. As Atlanta just so tough to contain offensively. But so is Tyler Gaines. As he gets that one to go, and Atlanta will call timeout. So now we see King Flame got on the floor. Hasn't had an extended play in these playoffs, but... Able to get out here for some time. Missed his first shot. Tyler Gaines got that to go. And Flame God, known as a passer, able to get the ball into the hands of young superstar Caleb White. Tone Show misses that one, and there's White with the board. Caleb White, player of the game earlier in this series, had a career performance, and he has been fantastic. So has Bart Jed, as Gaines will miss another three there. Tyler gains 51 points in losing are the most ever scored in a loss in the playoffs by a single player. Just incredible stuff from him. And terrible start from Davion Oreo so far. The St. Louis still only up 29-25 as we near the halfway mark in his first half. Bart Jett misses on the short shot. As he has been defended fairly well by Davion Oreo so far in this game. Jones Show misses the three. Neither team has had a lead bigger than four as Caleb White gets that to go over Jack Cole. And the Archers will again call timeout. Well, here is Noel Stoner, the sixth man of the year candidate, acquired from Denver earlier in the season. A two-time champion with the Boston Charms. You see Jack Cole miss that deep two, and there's Tone Show showing up defensively, getting a steal on De'Aaron Jackson at the other end. Oreo can't get it to go, though. And Jackson for three... Didn't get a rebound, White. He lost the ball. Jack Cole took it from him. So stealing a block for the youngster off the bench for St. Louis here. 
From this three there by Bass. MES the other way. And Caleb White. Six points, five rebounds after that alley -oop. Now, finally, Joey Bass able to get something to go. Three points, two rebounds, nine assists for him here in this first half. As Jackson has missed now three of his last four shots since starting three of three. And Bass into the paint gives St. Louis its largest lead of the day with five points there. White over Jack Cole didn't get it. Got his own rebound and got it stolen from him again by Jack Cole. And the young forward playing good defense for them. The Hawaii graduate gives it off to Tone Show and gets himself an assist as Tone Show puts in the short shot. And at the other end, Jackson able to get it to go. Oreo blocked there by Bart Jett. A rebound came off to Atlanta. Here is Jackson, mid-range kick out. Emmius looks for the angle. Step back mid-range. Butter. 36-34 with 49 seconds and counting to go. Jack Cole to the rim, and he throws it down. At the other end, Caleb White able to get it to go. 8.7 rebounds for him, and now a block on Jack Cole. The former college rivals going at it. Jackson missed that one. Rebound came out to Bart Jett. Another place Atlanta has had an advantage in this series is on the boards and from downtown as Rom uses the smooth step back to put that one in and Atlanta regains the lead, only to give it quickly back up as Davian Oreo with his 11th and 12th points of the day dunks that one home. Caleb White now in the mid-range with 8 seconds and counting in the first half gets that to go. 6 seconds, here's Jack Cole on a short shot, that's good, 3 seconds, Atlanta with Emmius for the lead, got it! Work the horn, 42-44, Atlanta leads it, they are 5 minutes away from a finals appearance at this rate. And in the box score, it can be seen both teams shooting very well. An identical 18 of 29 from the floor, but the difference is, of course, Atlanta's two more made threes. They're 8 of 14, St. Louis 6 of 13. Activists also leading on the boards with a 13 and 9 advantage, but three turnovers to St. Louis is none. Something in terms of individual performance, of course, De'Aaron Jackson has been himself for Atlanta. But Tyler Gaines with 14 points for St. Louis. Joey Bass with 11 assists. And Davian Oriental with 12. Caleb White has 10 for Atlanta. Jackson has 14. And Amius has 8 points and assists apiece. As we get started in the second half, Tyler Gaines gets us to a running start with a three-pointer there. And here is Caleb White, who played very well in that first half. Driving now on Gaines off the screen. Mid-range jumper is good. 46-45, as we have traded leads already over 10 times. Bass to Pippi. Had that one dunk in the first half, and now gets that one to go. Jackson off a screen three-pointer. You bet. 17 points for De'Aaron Jackson. Just so hard to stop from downtown, but so is Tyler Gaines, who gets another one to go there. He has 20. Barchett to the rim with authority. Archer's trying to keep it close here, as Atlanta's run-and-gun offense has just been unstoppable. But this St. Louis's offense has looked good in its own right here. And there's Caleb White responding to a pippy alley-oop with a dunk of his own. Emmius again on the dish. Tyler Gaines mid-range step back. Nothing you can do about that, but watch it go in. And De'Aaron Jackson blocked for the first time today by Tone Show. That's what they pay him for. And he gets it done as Oreo gets it done in the mid-range. And Rom from downtown. He is three of three. Perfect mark from down there. Gaines missed that one. Rom responds with a miss. The announcer jinx coming through there as Gaines recuperates off the glass and misses another mid-range jumper. So two misses for Tyler Gaines in a row. Here is Emmius from downtown. No good. Another rebound for Gaines. And Bass to Gaines. Driving. Puts it up over Caleb White. Can't get it to go. Three misses in a row for Tyler Gaines. Emmius over to Caleb White. Mid-range jumper's good. 16 from Caleb White. Another good performance from him as Atlanta quickly sees the lead taken back from them and evened up by Davian Oreo. There is Jackson, a tough shot over Pippi. He got it to go. 
Tyler Gaines mid-range is good. 60 apiece with three minutes to go. Atlanta will call timeout. And Emmy is blocked by Noel Stoner, fresh off the bench. And at the other end, Jet blocks Davian Orio, who switched over to the five. Caleb White, another bucket as Flame got on the assist. Bass a three, that's good, and St. Louis retakes the lead. Emmy is another shot blocked by Noel Stoner. Recovered by St. Louis, and here's Joey Bass driving to the rim, the alley oop, the finish from Davian Orio. 65-62. Emmius can't tie it up. Another rebound to Noel Stoner, who has played great defense since coming in. Cole passes over to Oreo. Didn't get it to go. Rebound to W.R. Asher. And Emmius now just 3 of 9, having missed his last 3, takes a step back in the mid-range and uses that to get himself going. Joey Bass. The alley-oop. Jack Cole to finish. Six points from him. The youngster playing well today. Caleb White, mid-range. Got it to go. 20 points from Caleb White. And Tojo gets a three to go, and now St. Louis leads by two full possessions. White couldn't get it to go. Rebound comes out there to, K to Jack Cole, excuse me. And Bass gets it to go, and now Atlanta calls timeout. Minute 56 to go. They trail by six. And who but De'Aaron Jackson to get them back in the game and cut it to three, although Tyler Gaines... Hits another three and makes it a six-point game once again. Emmius short shot's good. 12 points, 14 assists from him. Bass for three, didn't get it. Rebound comes out to Caleb White, who's now got himself a double-double. And Jackson in the corner, can't get the three to go. Rebound to Oreo. Gains for three, that's no good. So the guns have gone silent for both sides here, although Jackson can't get himself going in the mid-range either. Oreo mid-range, that's no good. Boy, no score for the last 20 seconds feels incredible as Emmius misses one now. Gains a three, that's good, and now St. Louis, its largest lead of the game with seven points on the scoreboard, but Emmius cuts it back down to four with that one. Bass for three, that's good. 81, 74, 73 ticks to go. Emmius, another three. He's heating up. 18 points for him. Gains for three, no. Rebound out to Jackson. This game's still very much up for grabs as Amias gets another run. 20 points for him. Eight in the last 30 seconds. Bass, alley -oop. Oreo the finish. 56 seconds. 83-79. Jackson for three. 25 from him. It's a one-point game. Bass with 24 assists to make it 25 on that one. The alley -oop to Pippi is good. At the other end, Caleb White can't get it to go. 40 seconds, St. Louis up by three. Gains for three, didn't get it. Rebound to Bart Jett. Jackson for three, he didn't get it. And now Davian Oreo collects. Bass, the drive, the give. Oreo, shoot shot blocked by Caleb White. 26 ticks on the clock. Missed there by Jackson, recovered by Bart Jett. Who throws it down? 21 seconds to go. St. Louis clinging to a one-point lead. That one won't go from Bass. And the rebound came out to Atlanta, and Emmius couldn't hit the three. Oreo grabs the board. 12 seconds, 10 seconds. Tyler Gaines driving on John Rom throws it down. Five seconds to go. Rom step back. One second is good. Tie game. One second to go. And Bass is blocked by Emmius on a what would have been a game winner. We're headed to overtime at 87 apiece. Oh my goodness, what a finish to that game. 37 of 61 St. Louis is, and it still isn't enough. Shooting 60% from the field, but Atlanta has just been that good. And you have to ask why Tyler Gaines didn't just run out the clock there. Would have ended the game and given St. Louis... Some life in this series, even if only a faint sign, as it stands, though, they have to fight for it in overtime. 87 even. Both teams near 50% from three-point range, 60% from the field for the game. Atlanta, a four-board advantage on the glass. St. Louis, 26 to 20 in assists. They have three steals to Atlanta's none. And just about even in blocks as well. This has been the star for St. Louis. 32 points, but Joey Bass with 25 assists. 
De'Aaron Jackson, of course, 25 for Atlanta, but Emmius and Caleb Blake both have 20. And here is Gaines to start overtime, missing the three. Rebound came out to Caleb Blake. Here is Emmius. Over to Hoy. Mid range. Missed it. Rebound to Pippi. 50 seconds to go. Tyler Gaines in the mid range. Could step back. He does. And he knocks it down. And Atlanta will call timeout. They trail by two with 43 seconds to go. Emmius driving. Sets up an easy alley oop to Caleb White. 89 even. St. Louis calls timeout. Gaines for three. Missed it. Rebound to De'Aaron Jackson. And Jackson for three. No good. Rebound Oreo. 30 seconds to go. Oreo mid-range is good. Pass with assist number 26. Here is Jackson in the mid-range. Driving. Kicks out to Emmius. 18 seconds. 17. Emmius mid-range. Step back. Got it. 91 even. 13 seconds to go in overtime. Tyler Gaines. Over. Caleb White didn't get a rebound. Out to De'Aaron Jackson. Jackson lost it. Todd Jones steals the ball. Damian Oreo gives St. Louis the lead. Two seconds to <laughs> Swan St. Louis to the HLA Finals. One shot, one opportunity. And he seizes it! A shot that will live in Atlanta basketball infamy! 94-93! The activists win game four in a crazy turn of events! And a four to nothing sweep over the St. Louis Archers. Unreal. To watch the... Emmius actually hit the shot to tie them up here. In the mid-range, he knocked it down. 13 seconds to go. Tyler Gaines takes a tough shot, and Caleb White got a good contest on it. Then, when Tonjo gets this steal, and Oreo hits this shot, over two seconds, has to hoist up three with Bass in his face, and just knocks it down. Blooded from the former. Arizona 122 player, former number four overall pick, and presumptive most improved player this season. The scoreboard set, of course, but St. Louis looked the best they've looked all series. They made one more shot than Atlanta. They shot nearly the same from three-point range, got out-rebounded by five, but had four steals to Atlanta's none. Just a heartbreaking end to what was otherwise a very successful season for the Archers. Finally got beyond the first round. Finally, Joey Bass, in his seventh season, Gets a playoff series win, a chance to go to the finals, but just came up short against what has been an Atlanta buzzsaw so far in these playoffs. Offensively. They struggled against the Blues. Atlanta did, had to beat them in seven games, despite being heavily, uh, heavily the underdog in that series. And still... Then they come into this one there, the underdogs against St. Louis, and they blow them out four to nothing. But this game was hard earned. What a game between these two. Incredibly exciting. And Atlanta becomes the first team to book its spot in the season eight HLA finals. First time in franchise history. They were an expansion franchise. 
in season three. They made the playoffs that year at nine and twenty-four, thanks to the playoff expansion. Current uh, Quakes guard Kyron Hickman was their star, and of course got swept there by Chicago. This year they come back, they beat Chicago, they beat St. Louis, another expansion team from season two, and they are headed to the finals. Hugely exciting for them. Of course, Emmy is here at the game. Honors here as well. He deserved for that 25.15 assist. Incredible performance. Started the first half of this game slowly, but boy, did he pick it up. De'Aaron Jackson had 25. Caleb White, the rookie, with 22 and 12. And Atlanta, a team that many didn't even think would make the playoffs, headed to the finals in the most epic of fashions. And we will see you there against either San Francisco or Atlanta, Arizona, pardon me, depending on the result of that series. Of course, San Francisco up 3-1 to one in that series right now, but without just chaos, Atlanta, Arizona has a fighting chance to come back. Someone for the Quakes will have to step up. That will be our next game coming to you sometime soon on HL TV. For all of us here in the Hoops League, I'm Cyclops saying thanking you for tuning into this broadcast of the Hoops League Season 8 Playoffs on Hoops League TV. And we will see Atlanta and hopefully all of you in the Season 8 HLA Finals soon.